Welcome back to another video. This is going to be how to script your own game intro part one. And in this intro, we're going to be making this cool looking intro screen right here. This logo you'll be able to replace with whatever your game logo is. And you'll be able to customize these buttons. And if you click play, the buttons and the logo have their own animation. All right, so first what you want to do is head on to starter GUI and you're going to want to insert a screen GUI and then inside that screen GUI you're going to want to insert an image label and from here you're going to want to change this image property to the logo of your game and for me this it's going to be that freeze tag logo that you see here for you you're probably going to need to click on add image and then navigate across your file manager to find it so now that we have the logo what we're going to do is we're going to resize it and we're also going to make it use scale instead of offset if you don't know what scale and offset are there's a video on it that i'll link so once you've gotten that figured out you're going to want to set the background transparency to one and that's what your game logo is going to look like so this is going to be at the top and now what we're going to do is we're going to add two buttons one for play and one for credits so to do that we're going to go to screen gui insert another text button and we're going to set this to play we're going to set the font to something different um i like this font and we'll make it bold and then what we'll do is we'll also make this thing use scale instead of offset and we're gonna want to insert a ui corner on it and now it looks like that um i think i'll make it a little bit less i'll make it a little bit less big on the y scale and i will make the corners a little more round so now we've got something that looks like that and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna set the text size to something a little bit bigger, and I'm gonna set the text color to something that matches the color scheme of the game that I have. So I think I'm gonna use this color right here. And you can play around with these buttons. This is just for demonstration purposes, but now you should have your freeze tag and you should have your play button right here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and edit this button and see if I can make it look a little bit better. Okay, so now I've got my play button right here, and I've got my logo just as I said before, and now what we're going to do is we're going to set this thing's name to play, and then we're going to hit Control D on our keyboards to duplicate it, and we're going to drag this down, and then we're going to change the name to credits, and then we're going to change the text also to credits. Alrighty, so now you should have a freeze tag, or this should be your game logo. You should have a play button and you should have a credits button. And now what we're going to do is we're going to find a nice place to, to station our camera. And I think I'm going to put it right here. So when the player joins the game, it'll look like this. Exactly like this. So what we want to do before we even begin scripting the game is we're going to want to figure out the coordinates of the camera. So how I do this is I just go into the command bar, which you can uh, find here. And you just do print workspace dot current camera dot uh, c frame, and then you'll see this giant list of numbers, and this basically represents where your camera is currently situated in the game. So right now it looks like this, and for example, if I were to move the camera, and then I print it again, you can see the numbers changed. So it really depends on where you where you place your camera, and I'm just gonna put it right here. And then I'm going to copy this. So this, these numbers right here, this represents where the camera is positioned. And now I'm going to make a local script. And now we're going to begin coding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do local cam because we're based on current camera. And then I'm going to set the camera type to scriptable. And what this does is it basically it locks the camera in place and it allows us to script it. It allows us to change its movements and stuff like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do cam.cframe equals cframe.new. And then we're going to paste that giant list of numbers that we copied earlier. And what this is doing is basically it's setting the cframe to whatever those numbers were. And I'm going to add a weight here on top okay so now when players join the game their camera should be in this position so i'm gonna play all right so as you can see i can't move my camera around it's stuck in this position 
because of our script. So that much is working. All right, so now we're gonna code the play button. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna script.parent.play.mouseButton one click connect function. And what this is saying is when the player clicks on this play, do everything that's inside of these, that's inside of function and this end right here. So basically everything inside of here. So when the player presses play, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give this play button an animation and it's gonna drop down and so will this credits thing. So if you've watched one of my videos called, uh, I think it's called how to move UI smoothly, you already know about tween service and that's what we're gonna be using here. If you haven't watched it, now's a good time to go and watch it. So I'm gonna do local tween service. Oop, not require game get service train service and we're gonna have the destinations and what we're gonna do is we're gonna define that to be so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this play button go all the way down so we have to figure out what is the position for the play button but what is the position the play button ends at after they click play and since I said it's gonna be all the way down we're just gonna move it down 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 and we're gonna use this thing and we're gonna set it to 1.1 and now the play button is all the way down. It's so down that you can't even see it. So it's basically, it's off the screen. And now we have this coordinate right here. So after they click play, it's gonna basically move smoothly all the way down. So let's get this coordinate and we're gonna say position equals udim2.new and then the coordinate. And now we're going to create the tween info. And if you, if you guys don't know what I'm doing right here, I basically made a video on this and you should go check it out. So tween info equals, oops, t, t info equals tween info dot new. And as you can see here, we have the parameters. So how long will the animation last? Let's say it's going to last one second. Let's say the easing style will be back. The easing direction is going to be out. And I think that's it. So now what we do is we create a tween. Local tween equals tween, ser tween service create. And we get that play button. So I think I'll make it a variable. So we create a tween with play, t info, and then destinations. Now what we do is we're going to play it. So basically what this does is, oh, I should probably move this back. Okay, so when they click play, it's gonna go all the way down. That's basically what this does. And let's see if it works or not. Play, okay, perfect. So I think I should set this thing to two. So now it'll take a little bit longer so it won't go as fast. And so we've got, we figured that much out for the play button. Now we have to figure it out for the credits button. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set this to tween play, and then I'm gonna set this to tween credits. And for credits, we're gonna do local credits equals script out credits. So now we've got that, and we'll change this to tween play, and we'll change this to tween credits. So basically, all that I've done here is I made another variable for the tween that the credits will do. So I'm basically making both of these things go down, not just a play button. And let's see if it works. So I click play. Okay, perfect. I'm going to add a delay in between the play and the credits just so it's a little bit better. I think. Let's see. Play. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So I like that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this freeze tag logo or your games logo. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make this thing move all the way up. So we have the buttons go down. I'm going to make this logo go up. So let's do that. We're going to do. We're going to change this image label here to logo. And local logo is a script.pen.logo. So now this logo will, re will refer to this logo right here and what we'll do is so like I said before we're gonna try to get this thing to go up 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 until you can't see it anymore 
and we're gonna need to set this thing to a negative value let's try negative 0.5 as you can see it's all the way up you might need to adjust this number to like negative 0.8 just so it goes all the way up but now we have our coordinate and what we'll do now is local destinations destinations logo equals and then we're gonna make a uh, property table for the destinations that the logo will go to so the positions will be 0 0.3320 0, negative 0 0.80 and we can move this back and then we can make another tween and now what we're going to do is instead of doing it for the play and the credits we're going to do it for the logo so we're going to type logo and then the tween info that's going to remain the same destinations instead of destinations we're going to do destination logo and we'll do tween logo play all right now once we click this these two buttons should go down and this button should go up or this logo should go up all right so play perfect i think what i'll do is i'm gonna move this down here i'm gonna add a weight 0.5 in between that too so now when i click play it'll go away sequentially so that's what we've got for now and before i end this part one i'm going to teach you how to reset the camera so that you are in the normal character point of view so to do that what we're going to do is we're going to do a wait two here i'm going to do cam dot camera type equals enum dot camera type dot custom and what this does it basically resets the camera to how it's supposed to be so we started it at scriptable and now we're going to reset it back to custom and it's going to wait one second before it does that or let's see, two seconds. And now we'll test it. There's our intro. We click play. Two seconds. And boom. Okay. So that is it for part one of this video series. If you liked it, please like the video, subscribe, and comment something down below to help the YouTube algorithm. And part two will be coming up shortly. In part two, we're going to script this credits button. And we're going to make this intro look a little bit better and more pleasing to the eye. So that is it for today. Thank you for watching.